by Dabble Sweeney and everyone on the coaching staff, basically, that Kate Klubnick's made of the right stuff. And it's situations like this where you get to prove that to be the case. Ball at the 32 for Klubnick. That's Maffa drifting into the backfield with Klubnick. Snap, first down look. Right there for Randall, and he will stretch to the 40. It's a gain of eight and change. Hardaway the stop for Kentucky. And with all your timeouts, you don't have to be in any kind of crazy rush here if you're Clemson. You also don't have to worry about only attacking certain areas of the field. Second down and about two. Quick throw again. That's Brenning Stool, another catch. And he'll be dumped over at the 46 by Jackson. One of the challenges we've seen from Clemson's offense all year long is they, they just haven't had a receiver that's that run right by you receiver that they typically have. And so this probably does have to be a relatively methodical drive by the Clemson offense. We're getting a stop to play. First and 10. Klubnik again, another quick throw. That's Maffa trying to stretch. It's inbounds, though, after only a yard. Second and nine. Now Clemson's got a little steam in their stride here with 133 to go. Yeah, and with these short passes not getting out of bounds, now you do have to speed it up a bit. Here's Klubnik to his right. Got to do something with it. He's going to run out of room. He will, oh boy, got knocked out of bounds and took a pretty good shot from Jackson and then also got followed into the mix by Saunders. But Klubnitz up and back headed to the huddle. Yeah, and this looked like it was pretty close to the sideline. A lot of times the quarterback's running to the sideline, clearly looking to get out of bounds, get a, the benefit of the doubt on calls like that. Dangerous play there by Derek Jackson. 117 to go. Clemson's got to get the first down. Yeah, and Tyler Brown or Jake Brenning Stool, those are the two players. I think Clemson's going to be trying to get the football too. Cats bring four. Klubnik, middle of the field. That's Adam Randall and keeps his feet and has the first down. As we come up on a minute to play, they'll stop the clock with 108 to go. That's great run after the catch. Toughness by Adam Randall. You still don't have to use a timeout because you pick up the first down. But the run after catch on the shallow cross was outstanding. Here's Klubnik, he'll keep it to the left side, and Wallace leads the tackle parade for Kentucky, and there's a Tiger timeout with a minute to go. You can just see a little bit out of this Clemson offense in this environment where you're not getting shots down the field. They're not pushing it down the field. I think it's probably a combination of things. One, I don't know if they feel like they have the receivers right. like they typically do for that. And I think blocking. There has been a penalty called for an illegal substitution on Kentucky. So that's a five yard mark off by referee John Love. And so now the ball is at the 37 yard line. Not quite sure what transpired there, but nonetheless, that's the word we've been given. Snap to Klubnik. Looks going to check it to Moff on the far side, and he got shoved out of bounds by Wallace, the linebacker, a couple of yards shy of the first down, but the clock stops, which is the most important part here on second down from a Clemson perspective. Now, Kentucky and Brad White, Tim, dropping six guys, really more than, what, eight to 12 yards off the line of scrimmage here? Well, and I would say this, based on what you've seen from Clemson, look, I would not be surprised if you start to just play a little tighter start flooding the underneath zones a little bit more based on how Clemson has called offense these last couple plays. Pressure coming, Klubnik in trouble. Going to put it up for grabs, and it is incomplete. Maffa was out in the throwing lane, at least from our observation. Jansen Dunn was the guy who was lowering the boom for Kentucky. And I think we're going to get a grounding call, Wes, saying that Klubnik was not outside of the tackle box. Dabo Sweeney nods his head. He understands, and here's the call. Referee John Love. Intentional grounding, offense number two. Loss of down at the spot of the foul. 
Clemson has elected to call a timeout. There will not be a 10 second runoff. Timeout, Clemson. So here's another look, Tim. Yeah, and that's the, the tackle box right there. And Klubnik is going to be under pressure immediately. And man, is he right on the edge of that as Jansen Dunn applies the pressure. Well, we've talked about Zion Childers through the afternoon, but the Ohio State transfer, Jansen Dunn, in his 19th consecutive game, or his 19th collegiate game today, gets Kentucky's seventh sack of the day. And, then... and we're down to now 50 seconds, and Clemson's got to pick up 18 yards. And they're going to have two swings. Tigers have only hit a third of their third downs today, 5 of 15. Kentucky rushes three. Klubnik rips it, and it is caught near a first down, and that's Antonio Williams. And he'll be awfully close. It'll still be fourth down. Well, it's a three-man rush. Williams just running a deep curl. Good timing, and he's so eager to get out of bounds. Now fourth down, obviously you're going for it. They hand it to Mappa. He's got the first down. He's got more toward the 28 now with 40 seconds left. Clock will stop, obviously, with the first down, so you don't have to use one of your final two timeouts. And Clemson does not change personnel here, Tim. Here's the snap to Klubnik. He looks, spins it, it's caught. Antonio Williams at the 17-yard line. It's enough for a first down, so the clock stops at 31 seconds. And Kentucky's continued to play soft. It would not surprise me if they decide to change up that philosophy. Klubnik looks, Brenningstuhl caught it! Inside the five at the three, and Davo Sweeney's gonna take the timeout. 21 seconds left. Yeah, and I think it's a good timeout. Part of the reason why he runs so many offensive plays, and I know people talk about the pass rush getting tired, but you have your receivers running all these routes. They get tired as well. It's a good job of Reading it out by Klubnik and then Brenningstuhl, who's been so big in the red zone all season long, uses that big six foot six frame, able to catch the football on the sideline. Pistol set with Maffa. Klubnik straight ahead goes number seven. Bill Maffa scores! And with 17 seconds left, Clemson has taken the lead on the fourth rushing touchdown of the day for Phil Maffa, which is a Tax Slayer Gator Bowl record. And how about that? I didn't think they'd run the football west from the four-yard line. Obviously, they had a timeout, so run game's in play, but to run the football and then Maffa just muscle it in, much like he has a couple of other times today, and truthfully doing it right at an unblocked defender in J.J. Weaver. Bill Moffa's fourth rushing score of the day has put Clemson in front by one. Tigers going for two. Here's Klebnik rolling, throwing, caught. That's sap for two points. 38-35, the Tigers. Phil Maffa has three fourth quarter touchdowns for Clemson. And how about that drive by Cade Klubnik? Now Dabo Sweeney talking about, listen, the kid's got a strong foundation. He's made of the right stuff. We loved how he's handled all of the adversities that he, he's faced. He's fired up about that drive. He should be, and what a response by Clemson offensively with the way they moved the ball down the field.